Hello royalty and royal folks, it's good to see you all here again back on the Royalist channel going. Now before we get started guys, I want to say a huge thank you for always supporting our royal channel here and in case you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you do. And also let me know in the comments what you think today's headwear is pushing the boundaries a little bit. But uh, yeah, we're going to get on with today's video, really excited, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell and... Yeah, let's get started. Grab yourself a cup of tea and we're going into it right now. So the royal family, they really do go in for a rum bunch of hobbies, don't they? Especially Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, would seem to be no different from his blue-blooded relatives. He might have changed countries, jobs and oat milk brands, but he too these days is spending large amounts of his time indulging in an unusual pastime of his own waging court cases. Now sure, some titled wealthy blokes might just squander their millions on horses, yachts or acquiring pieces from early collections, but Harry has proven time and time again that he's not a man willing to quintessentially follow tradition. Instead, for years, the Duke has been fighting a series of legal action against both the British Home Office and his personal kryptonite, Fleet Street's tabloid. Except now, poor Harry has suffered quite the blow, with a judge dealing him the biggest setback yet to his courtroom campaigning. On Tuesday in London, Mr Justice Chamberlain denied the Duke permission to bring a second legal challenge over whether he should be allowed to pay for police protection. While this is only one of two actions Harry has brought over the 2020 decision made by Royal and VIP Executive Committee to withdraw his official protection given he longer occupied an official role, those who have read their taught textbooks think this ergers badly. Now the writing is on the wall for this case now. Media lawyer Mark Stevens has told the Daily Beast maybe Harry should have bought a one-hold catamaran or a couple of lame racehorses or hit the roulette tables after all because so far the legal habit of his proven to be nothing but a fast way to waste a lot of money. Now, according to The Sun, Harry's thus far futile fight with the UK government of uh, official security has taxpayers paying more than £300,000. If his own legal fees are in the same ballpark, that means in total it has cost more than £1.1 million for Harry to essentially try to prove a point. That I would wager only he cares about, aside from the Duke's attempt to have Metropolitan Police security arrangements reinstated when he is in Britain. He also has three other legal challenges going against the publishers of the Daily Mirror and Mail and the Sun for alleged unlawful information gathering. Come June, while the rest of the Windsors are revving up the Royal Ascot and dusting off their tartan for Balmoral, Harry will be getting ready to take the stand next month. He will give evidence in his mirror case, the first senior role to sit in a witness box in 130 years. Will Harry triumph and prove to be an unlikely uh, article rumple? Or will high-priced lawyers subject him to a painful grilling, slightly less humiliating than when he asked to use a stranger's loo on a late-night comedy show? But one thing is clear. It's that in the last few weeks, Harry has repeatedly come face-to-face -face with embarrassment. And right now, it seems like the Sussexes are stuck on something of a losing streak. While many of these legal cases are still ongoing, the thing about Harry's home office case is why? Why is he going to such expensive lengths for a matter that would have no bearing on his day-to-day -day life? Even if he wins, why fight so hard for security in a court where the Sussexes no longer have a home and have spent less than one month out of the last 40-odd months? So guys, what do you think about the news? Do you think Harry should stop embarrassing himself now? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Let us know what you think. And until next time, have a great day. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.